Rudy Giuliani is suing President Joe Biden for calling him a, quote, Russian pawn during a presidential debate nearly three years ago. Now, with what money is Giuliani doing this? I don't know, because he seems to be in a tough situation on that front with all the cases being brought against him. But I guess this is his moment to get accountability for Joe Biden. How dare he call him a Russian pawn here from CNN. Rudy Giuliani sues Joe Biden for calling him a Russian pawn. Giuliani announced the lawsuit at a rambling news conference outside a courthouse in New Hampshire where he filed uh, to take advantage of the state's defamation laws. The former mayor reiterated several familiar attacks against Biden and his son Hunter, though he only sued the president despite the high bar for statements by public figures in a political setting to be found defamatory. Now, I would put so much, so much money on the, the side of, the bet of Giuliani will not win this case. It's going absolutely nowhere. But here was part of the press conference where he got very upset at reporting, indicating he has a really bad drinking problem. And uh, it's so bad that his staff tries to time interviews when he's not drunk. And that has to be earlier in the day. And on election night, he was super drunk and just a lot of issues there, which no matter who it is, I never think it's appropriate to ridicule or um, mock someone's problem when it comes to alcoholism, but that is important for people to recognize when thinking about who was around the president of the United States as he was uh, as he was trying to overthrow American democracy. One of them was not in his right mind most of the time. Thank you, everybody. It's All a right. it's a typical New York Times malicious lie. I do not have an alcohol problem. I have never had an alcohol problem, and the reason I told you what I achieved is. Nobody could have achieved that if they did. When the hell was I drinking? I was working 24 hours a day. It's a big damn lie by a newspaper that's a disgrace and by a reporter who covered me, used to cover me very, very, uh, in a very glowing way, and now is vicious and mean in what she does. Thank and, you. And it, uh, it's my press conference. Vicious and mean. And if it weren't for the protections that the press gets. You might notice that his lawyer standing next to him looks very, very uncomfortable. <laughs> With times against Sullivan, I mean, she should be sued for libel. She should also be thrown out of the profession for being a damn liar. But that's okay. So again, I don't know what this is about. It's completely uh, unreasonable, irrational. And doesn't even seem to be in the interest of Rudy Giuliani because he's going to have to spend a lot of money doing this. But then if he doesn't win, he's not going to get that back. So all of the legal fees and the lawyers standing there being paid to look very uncomfortable. What is that all for? You're not going to get the president of the United States to be found um, liable for defamation for calling you a Russian pawn. Number one, that's such an abstract statement. And number two, it's such a high bar for, as the CNN article noted, public figures in the political arena. You can say a whole lot without defaming someone whenever you're someone like the president. Uh, just look at what Trump says every single day about everyone. But maybe this is a chance for Giuliani to get excited the MAGA base to fundraise off of. I don't know. Who knows with Rudy? Thank you so much for watching. If you want to be a part of what makes this show possible, plus get access to the full video version of the show and get a bonus show on the weekends, you can do so by going to lukebeasleyshow.com slash membership. That's lukebeasleyshow.com slash membership. And there's a link in the description.